guys, welcome back to another video, and if you're new then welcome. My name is Zoe, a lot of people know me from VA Reptiles on Instagram or Twitter, and as you can tell, I'm filming in a new location today, and that is because I am home for Thanksgiving break. So a lot of you have seen on Instagram that I was so excited to go home and finally get to see my leopard gecko. So today's video is going to be me introducing you guys to him and showing you his setup. So this is Zephyr. He was my very, very first reptile. I got him my sophomore, the end of my sophomore year of high school. So he's been around for a while. So I've had him for about six years now. Um, so yeah, he was my first reptile. We adopted him from Petco. Go away. So we adopted him from Petco. Um, he did belong to a guy that went off to college and he was left with the kid's mom. Mom didn't want to take care of him, so she brought him to Petco, told him to find him a new home. I did tell you guys this in my very, very first video where I did a meet my pets video. He was in that one. Um, that's the only parents he's made on my channel so far. So now he's getting his own video. Yeah, so he was two years old when I got him. So he's probably about seven or eight now. He was extremely malnourished when we took him in. Um, now he's very chunky. He does eat mainly mealworms. Um, he was never very good at hunting crickets. I used to take him out and put him and a little cricket keeper, not cricket keeper, a critter keeper with a couple crickets. So it was like impossible for him to not be able to get them. And he still couldn't hunt them. He'd miss one and he'd give up and just lay there and call it quits. Yeah, he was, he's pretty lazy. So we've been doing strictly mealworms, especially since he's a family pet and he stays home with my little brother, sister, my mom, my dad. My mom mainly takes care of him. And so we just breed our own mealworms. We don't have any pet stores locally. So the easiest thing was just to breed our mealworms. Now that I'm much more into reptiles and understand reptile nutrition a little better, um, when I move home for good in like two weeks, um, I do want to try feeding him crickets again. Um, I want to tongue feed him because it'll be impossible for him to miss that way, but I'm literally holding it in front of his mouth. I may or may not be getting into breeding dubias just because some of my new reptiles need bugs and like I said we have no pet stores near us and just trying to order crickets my bank account is hurting and I really hate roaches I do I grew up in South Carolina I hate roaches but if it saves me a lot of money and I know dubias are very nutritious I'll just have to deal. Yeah, so he is nice and chunky now, that boy. We also believe he is blind. Um, he will literally just walk right off whatever surface he's on, doesn't even realize it. Um, he gets around his enclosure fine, but my mom did take him to a local vet who like just kind of shone a, shined a light in his eyes and just did like the basic test you would do with an animal and he did not respond, so we do believe that he is blind. But he's fat and happy, so he's living like a king. All right, so now we're gonna show you guys his enclosure. So here's his enclosure. It's a little messy up here. It's the top of our basement stairs. So nobody wants to go down to the basement and bring stuff down. But anyway, he's got this nice table he's on with this nice artwork up here. It's my mom's favorite. Anyway, here's his tank. It is a 20 gallon long. And you may be asking, Zoe, why is there tape on top of his tank? Remember how I told you we've got a kitten? Yeah, we've actually got three cats and two of them liked to sit on top of his tank. And obviously, Screen may not hold up that well to cats sitting up there. So my mom decided to layer some tape on top, sticky side up, and that solved our cat problem. So anyway, going into the tank, talking about heat sources first. Well, maybe substrate. 
So we have very thin tile in here. I don't even know if I would call it tile. It looks like tile, but it's very, very thin. I don't really know what you'd call that. Um, so I put in Arcadius's enclosure upstairs as well. Um, temporary vacation enclosure, I might add. Anyway, so we have that in the bottom. We used to do that um, reptile carpet that kind of looked like stone, but it just, it broke apart so easily. And it was just a hot mess and it's hard to clean. So we switched to tile, it looks so much nicer. It's super easy to clean. And then for heat, we do have a heat pad under the tank over here. So this is his warm side. And then because my house is a little kind of chilly downstairs, we have this lamp up here just to kind of raise the ambient temps a little bit so it's not freezing. And then I do have his dishes. So we have one dish for calcium. It looks like there's a couple mealworms in there. But we have one dish for calcium, a dish for mealworms, and his water dish back there. And then I do have three hides. So I have his warm hide, which he's in right now. You can see his tail. Um, we have his humid hide in the middle that has just a wet paper towel in it. And his cool hide over here, which you can also climb on top of hide in. So he loves that, but he also, he does really like that too. And I was actually concerned that he wouldn't be able to get in there, especially being blind, just being the special lizard that he is. But he got in there totally fine. He loves it. It's great. Highly recommend. So of course then we just have some plants. That actually came with him. So I just leave it in there. Um, this we bought, so it just kind of gives him some more coverage. And then his paper towel in the corner. I call that his litter box. Um, what I really think of leopard geckos, or at least what I've noticed from leopard geckos, is they pick a corner and that's their poop corner. So it makes it super easy to clean. I just put a paper towel in his corner. When he poops on it, I take the paper towel out and replace it with a new one. So super easy. So yeah, that is Zephyr's enclosure. So that's it for the video today. I did put Zephyr away because he was just kind of being irritable. The cat was running around and I woke him up. So he's not in the outro today, but you did get to see him. You finally got to meet him and see his enclosure. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell and that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos and we will see you next time.